Hi, this is the GMAX texturing and exporting tutorial by me, Ifridge. This is part two. Part one was best click modeling GMAX. Uh, watch the whole thing, then go back to the start and do it bit by bit. You may notice the map changes a bit. That's because I deleted it because I couldn't be bothered. Okay, now. Convert to Edible Mesh. Um, mine's gone blank. Okay, um, unhide all. Now hit the polygon. Select all the sky. Scroll down and give it a material ID of 1. Yeah, okay, um. Now click the GMAX material navigator. New. Standard. And name it plus sky. Now select the sky and don't worry about this, we'll actually change this to a different to actual heli map sky later. And click apply. Now we'll close that. Um select all the cliff. Scroll down, give it a material ID of two. Hit the material navigator, new, standard, and name it cliff. Hit that blue thing. Now diffuse, double click on bitmap. Now go into sorry see program files Microsoft Games Hello Custom Edition Data Levels Um Test Danger Canyon Bitmaps Um where is it? Oh, it's left. Dan Danger Canyon Cliff Walls. Copy it. Copy the writing. Paste it into the name. Click that blue thing, then the black arrow. Hit apply. Now I'll close that one. Now I'll select all the ground. Well, this part's a bit tricky. Okay. Now I'll scroll down to the bottom and give it a material ID of 3. Go to click enter. Material navigator. New standard. I'll call ground. Hit diffuse. Double click bitmap again. Now already in Danger Can bitmaps. Then you can ground. Oh, oops, I forgot to copy it. Click on that bit. Copy it. Close that. Now, paste in the name. Hit the black arrow. Paste it in. Hit apply. And then close that. Now, <laughs> highlight all the glyph. Go down to UVW map. And then now just to adjust the length and width to however you want it. So it doesn't look too dodgy. Um right click convert to a little mesh. Click the polygon. And um, now we're going to do the exact same thing for the ground. So select all the ground, modify a list, going on to UVW map. And yeah, same thing, adjust the length and width of the ground, the grass. And you can use whatever texture you want for this, as long as it's a .tiff file. All the textures, only tiff. Okay, now quick box. Mm, the top view, make a box of any size, doesn't matter. And name it frame. Now 
Now click on the select and link button. Click on the map. Bring it over to the frame and let go. Yeah, but now if you want to click those dots, highlight all of the bit above the sky, and then with the green arrow just adjust the red bit down a lot so it's just not touching the blue bit. That way banshees can't get too high up and it will it will also make the map a bit of a small file. Small download. Go up to the red hammer, then max script, and now you would locate now you click run script and locate chimp, which you should have downloaded. Sorry for not telling you that. And hit listener window, write debug info, and click export. That should pretty much do it.